Uh, John and Rob, first of all, thank you for a very helpful and understandable presentation tonight. When you think back, and I apologize if the question's been asked, we, we couldn't figure out which door to get in, so there was only one that opens. Um, uh, when you think back to 2015 and your market outlook, what were the big surprises for you, and why do you think that was? And, you know, it's very difficult to predict blind spots or surprises for the future, but if you had to, how would you? Gee, I can't remember well, I, what we said last year. <laughs> I, no, as a matter of fact, I actually did take a look at last oh. year's slides and just thought about it. I, I would say without question, the biggest surprise for us is really the impact on the pricing of preferred shares. That was a, an unusual phenomenon. Maybe to a lesser degree, the impact on, on high yield bonds, given the fact that just generally speaking, interest rates overall declined. Um, I wasn't particularly surprised by the, you know, the, the, the second half of the year in terms of equity markets. Uh, you know, after a long bull market, generally in equities up until then, some kind of correction wouldn't be particularly surprising. So I think that the, those two areas, the high yield bonds and the preferred shares were the, maybe the biggest surprises for me personally. For me, it's the continued downward movement in interest rates and the negative rates we're seeing in some parts of the world. It, 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 I think it's signs of a, a, a huge bubble in valuation and fixed income, and I don't understand how that's going to work out in countries like Japan and in Europe and how that's going to unwind. And, and, and I said this last year as well, in comparison, equities, to me, feel the better investment given how expensive bonds are and how that could unwind. And we, we don't see interest rates going up quickly by a lot, but they have to go up eventually. And, and I think in an environment of rising rates, that's going to be really tough for fixed income returns. So for me, that's been the biggest surprise, the continuation of that.